What is up everybody, Eric here from Soundcast Studios. Today we're taking a look at a Hairball Audio's Lola mic preamp. Full disclosure, I purchased this unit with my own money and any opinion is entirely my own. So in an effort to try and understand what the sound of this preamp is, I decided to run a couple of multi-tracks through it. I turned up the gain just to the point of being too much saturation and then turned it back down. So a couple of the tracks actually do have a little bit of that saturation crunch. For example, vocals you might hear on some louder sections, the vocals actually do distort a little bit. Really, it's saturation. They saturate a little bit. But I just wanted to really push the preamp to try and really get and understand what the saturation sound is. And so here's the result of that. So I don't know if you're able to tell through YouTube compression and everything, but to me, the Lola mic preamp just sounds fuller. The low end is, is quite substantially noticeable, at least in my opinion. I like the saturation of it. I like the way it sounds. One of my favorite things about it is it is a relatively clean preamp, but when turned up, it can actually get very gritty and distorted, which I like the versatility of that. So for example, um, let me pull up the snare track. So this is the unprocessed snare. And now this is the processed snare through the preamp. One thing you can instantly notice is where the snare is peaking. So here I'm gonna play them both side by side and take a look at the meters. Look at how much headroom you can get out with using this preamp. And honestly, I could have pushed it even further, but I decided not to. But it sounded so good, even when really cranked up, especially on the snare drum. It added a ton of saturation that was super, super pleasant. And I was really surprised by how good it sounded. And honestly, I probably would use this on snare drum in a lot of instances. It's really good at absorbing transients. Overall, I really like this preamp. It's incredibly clean, but can also get incredibly distorted if you wanted to. You can crank that gain up and get a ton of that saturation. It handles transients incredibly well, and I really have nothing bad to say about it. The fact that it has a line level, so you can use it on your mix bus if you want to, is incredibly useful. And I would highly recommend you going out and checking it out. So that is going to be the end of this video. In the comment section below, let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and what you thought I could have done better. And I'll see you all in the next video.